We are going to talk about if former Filipino citizens can own real estate property in the Philippines. If so, what are the limitations and the current rules? Generally speaking, foreign nationals are prohibited from owning real property in the Philippines. And this is stated under the 1987 Philippine Constitution. So let me provide the specific provision in the Philippine Constitution. The primary law governing ownership of land by foreign nationals is under 1987 Philippine Constitution, Article 12, Section 7 of the 1987 Philippine Constitution. Save in cases of hereditary succession, no private lands shall be transferred or conveyed except to individuals, corporations, or associations qualified to acquire or hold lands of the public domain. This provision is applicable to former Filipino citizens. A natural-born citizen of the Philippines who has lost his Philippine citizenship may be a transferee of private lands subject to limitations provided by law. It's acquisition by a foreign national who is a former natural-born Filipino citizen. If you are a natural-born citizen and you have lost your Philippine citizenship through naturalization in a foreign country, then you are also eligible to own property in the Philippines. However, there is a limitation by former Filipino citizens to acquire property. So here are the limitations and these are very specific. Here are the rules for former Filipino citizens. Here's the lot area restrictions to be used for residents. In an urban area, it's 1,000 square meters maximum. For lot area limits for residents in a rural area, it is 1 hectare. For commercial purposes, the lot area limits are as follows 5,000 square meters of urban land and 3 hectares of rural land. Let me talk about natural born Filipino citizens. Who are natural born Filipinos? Again, the Philippine Constitution defines a natural born Filipino who is a citizen of the Philippines from birth without having to perform any act to acquire or perfect their Philippine citizenship. Here are the list of natural born Filipinos. A citizen of the Philippines at the time of the adoption of the 1987 Constitution. Also born after January 17, 1973, whose fathers or mothers are citizens of the Philippines at the time of their birth. Those born before January 17, 1973, to a Filipino father or mother, and that person elects Filipino citizenship upon reaching 18 years of age. Also a citizen of the Philippines who married a foreigner but have not renounced their Filipino citizenship and those who have acquired dual citizenship. Also included are those who have acquired derivative citizenship and these are children of former Filipino citizens who have reacquired Philippine citizenship upon effectivity of RA 9225. What are the laws governing property ownership of former Filipino citizens? These are Batas Pamansa 185 and RA8179, which is the Foreign Investment Act of 1991. Except in cases of hereditary succession, no private lands shall be transferred or conveyed except to individuals, corporations, or associations qualified to acquire or hold lands of the public domain. The property was acquired through hereditary succession again we have to go back to the philippine constitution or the 1987 constitution it clearly states that foreign nationals are prohibited from owning property in the philippines however there is an exception and that is through hereditary succession so let me read to you the exact provisions of the constitution so there are two successions one is by will and the other one is by intestate succession or when there is no will so if you are a foreign national or a former filipino citizen 
and you are an heir to a property then you can acquire that property through succession let me explain this exception for example you are already a naturalized u.s citizen and you are residing in the u.s however unfortunately your parents uh, died in the philippines and you are considered an heir to a will so whether or not there is a will if you are legally entitled to the property you can acquire that property through hereditary succession so please take note even if you are a foreign national you can still acquire that property whether there is a will or not as long as you are considered a legal or compulsory heir you must comply with the order of succession whether there is a will or not so here is the order of succession first legitimate children or descendants of the deceased and then the next one would be legitimate parents or ascendants and then the illegitimate children or descendants and then the surviving surviving spouse and then siblings and other collateral relatives within the fifth degree and finally the state or the philippines for example if you are a foreign national and you were included in a will by a person who is not related to you then that is not covered by the exception purchase of a condominium unit so what does it mean there is actually a philippine law which is the condominium act of the philippines or republic act number 4726 where foreign citizens are allowed to buy condominium units in any condominium project as long as the foreign ownership of the project does not exceed 40 percent for example in a condominium project there are let's say 50 units so 40 percent of the 50 units can be acquired by foreigners and 60% can be acquired by Filipino nationals. In the Philippines, there are a lot of condominium units being sold. So if you are a foreign national, you can own a condominium unit. However, the land cannot be transferred to you. So you are only owning a unit of a condominium project. If you have any other questions or comments, please post them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Again, thank you guys for supporting my channel and if you haven't liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I always welcome new subscribers. Thank you guys for watching. I hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day.